So we can. Well, I need to be an admin if I can be an admin for that page. I'm already a member of the page. I ought to be an admin on the page. So what do you need to be able to get on the admin? Uh, somebody needs to add me to the thing as an admin. I can do that.
search the church's name real quick and see if it works on the page. Because I try to get stream live on that page. Yeah. Type in, type in the church's name, Bethel. United Baptist Church. Back of your team, listen, okay? We're fixed to start.
Okay. So that the uh, members, yes. that way it's, it's yeah. just the Bethel members. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's, yeah. If you started, they never did get really started. Right. Ray is an admin, yeah. and uh, uh, Tiffany's been posting some stuff. And anyway, we're going to go through her and then work to you. All right. That's good. Good morning. Give me
278.
right on, come on up, and it's going to be off the top. Thank you. 
and I, I, I've needed that. I come in for a low, I don't know if we ever get like that or not, but I do. But I need a, I need a touch from the good Lord. I've already got it this morning. I thank God for that. It's good to have y'all in God's house. We're good to have Caitlin and Madison family here this morning. We're thankful to be here. Especially thankful for Brother Larry and what God's done for him. He's been through a, talking about a major, major surgery. God has blessed him and seen him through this. I, I was amazed. I, I absolutely was amazed. I've seen a lot of people over the years that's been through major surgeries. They look like dead wound over. First time I seen Brother Larry act with it. He didn't like he ever had to go to a ball game or something. I mean, he didn't like he didn't see it. You know what caused that? Touch from God. Amen. That's what that's what done that. We want to let's just give the Lord a big hand this morning for that day. <laughs> we're, we're serving a great and wonderful God today. There ain't a lot of things in life that look like it's big, it look like we're getting away, getting older around it. And, uh, with us it's impossible. But I'm glad I read in the word that said with God all things is possible. We thank God for that this morning. Anyone else got anything you need to do this morning? We want to obey the Lord this morning. It's good to be here. It's good to be able to feel what I feel in my heart this morning. Anyone, song or testimony, anything? I'll turn the preacher loose on you. Don't now, so you better take your bed. Come on, Josh. Appreciate the Josh. I say that. I'm blessing your life. We thank God for you. I just just slow pull the barrel at one time and pull the two drinks at one time. Load us up, brother. Come on. be in the book of Luke, chapter number 23. We're going to start with verse 26. So Luke 23, chapter 23, starting with verse 26, says, And they led him away, they led they laid hold upon one Simon, a Caesarean, coming out of the country, and on him they laid the cross that he might bear it after Jesus. And there followed him a great company of people and of women, which also dwelled and lamented him. But Jesus turning, turning unto them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are coming in the which they shall say, Blessed are the barren and the wounds that never bear and the paths which never gave suck. Then shall they begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry? And there, and there were also two other male factors, which factors led with him to be put to death. And when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, they were crucified. Crucified him and the male factors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Then said Jesus, Forgive, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. And the people stood beholding, and the rulers also with them derided him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself, if he be Christ, the chosen of God. And the soldiers also mocked him, coming to him and offering him vinegar, and saying, If thou be the king of the Jews, save thyself. And a superscription also was written over him in letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. And one of the male factors which were hangrailed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Dost not thou fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds, for this man hath done nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. So I want to point out right here that there was two other thieves that were nailed to a cross with Jesus when he was being crucified. And there was one that had a sort of entitlement. He was 
he started thinking, well, you know what? These people are right. You're who you say you are. Save yourself. You can save yourself. You can save us. But the other one humbled himself, and he knew he was getting what he deserved. So he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your, to your kingdom. And Jesus said, today you shall be able to be in us. We get like that sometimes, brother. Yeah. We get we get an entitlement about us. We think that because we come to church, because we sing songs, because we get our tithes and stuff, we get an entitlement about us. We Which think we know. deserve this. We don't deserve a thing. God does not owe us for one single thing. If we got what we deserved, if we would be in hell right now. But you know what? By the grace of God, we are saved. We are covered under the blood of Jesus. Aren't you glad today, brother? <laughs> Aren't you glad today to know that we are covered by the blood? We are saved. By grace, we are saved. We are made whole. And today we are made whole. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Rich. If we would sit, if we would take a good look around us and realize what God has done for us, He doesn't owe us anything. It's out of grace that He sent His Son to die yeah, for us. Right. It's out of grace. He found grace in us because we didn't do anything to deserve Him sending His Son. But He loved us so much, brother Ricky, that He sent His Son Jesus to die for us on the cross. We don't deserve it, but you know what? He came so that way His blood may atone our sins to keep us from going to hell because Bless you, Lord. we're. We're sinful creatures. We're sinful yeah. humans. We we can't do it without the blood of Jesus. That's why the blood has to be applied to your heart. Let me tell you, if you don't have it, you're missing out. Because let me tell you, I'd rather live my, I'd rather live the hardest day as a Christian than live the best day as a sinner. Because yeah. let me tell you something. Yeah. Right, son, come on. You love it, brother. Come on. Flip over here to Ephesians chapter two, verse eight it says for the Bible. For by grace are ye saved through faith and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, yeah. not of works, lest any man should boast. See, we can't do anything, brother. Ricky. We can't we can't buy our way into heaven. We can't we can't we can't do good deeds to get us into heaven. No no more stuff that we can do can get us into heaven. But you know what gets us in? The blood of Jesus Christ. He shed it right there on that cross yeah. for us. And you know what? He loved each and every one of us. Even if we were the only one. That was a sinner. Even if no one else was right, for us, he still would have died for me. And that makes me feel so good today that he he loved me so much that he died. He sent his son to die for yeah, me. And let me tell you something. If we got exactly what we deserve, we'd be in hell right now in torment. Because yeah. nothing we can do yeah. can ever make up for what Jesus did for us. That's right. And I feel so bad because I know time and time again I fell here. Yeah. But you know what? There's one place where you can make it right. Right here. You yeah. can me. You can make it right. If yeah. you're lost today, if you're feeling undone, if you're having sorrows, if you're having pain, this is the best place to get yeah. it because Jesus made a way. We can't bear our burdens, but guess what? He said he would bear our burdens. What did what he's going to say, Brother Ricky? He said he would go all the way with right. us. And guess what? That uh, word's still true today. He's yes, still not left us, and he still loves us, and he would still go all the way with us. He he, he's, prepared, he's prepared a place right now for us. He's in heaven. He said, I shall go away and prepare a place, but I shall come again. So guess what? It may look dark and gloomy right now, but guess what? He is coming back. Hallelujah. Amen. He's coming back. Aren't you feeling right yes. today? But he has all prepared a place. And if he's been going this long so far right now, can you imagine how great yeah. heaven's going to be? Because let me tell you something. God is good. Woo! Woo! Yes, he is. I bet you That's his heart. Come on, son, preach. God is good to all of us. Whether we want to realize it or not. That's it. There were two things hanging on each side of them. Because they had committed a sin. Yeah. They broke in, they stole, and they killed. If I'm not mistaken, they killed a the man. So they were being put to death too. And one of them knew that he was getting what he deserved. He knew that he was in yeah. it. He was guilty. Yeah. The other one like I said, he gets the how we get we get the feeling entitled. We get the feeling like, well, you know what? I may have done that, but it wasn't as bad as so and so there. I'm not as bad as I'm not as bad as little Johnny. I'm not as bad as Tommy. I mean, they've got a lot worse than me. I haven't killed nobody. I haven't. But I just drank one little. Oh, let me tell you something. Let me tell you. <laughs> Okay, so all it takes is one little sin, one little sin to separate you from God. So aren't you glad today that if you're covered by the blood, it can be forgiven? All you got to do is ask for it. Ask and you shall receive. Is that right, Brother Ricky? If you ask, you shall receive. Aren't you glad today that God loves us so much that he died for us and he sent his son to die for us and to forgive us our sins and that he is, 
He is just. We're all going to be judged according to our works. Right. And I'm telling you right now, there's going to be things that I'm going to look back on when he's judging me that I'm not going to be proud of. Amen. But what he's going to be looking for is that blood of Jesus because yeah. that's what makes us as white as snow. That's Amen. what cleanses us. Yeah. When I see the blood, I'll pass over you. <laughs> Thank you. So, I'm so glad today that he loved us even enough. Yeah. Even after, and look at the way the world's getting right now. There's the government, they're wanting to do abortions. They're wanting to, they're taking, God's out, they're taking God out of the school system. They're taking prayer out and all this stuff that's going on. But God still loves each and every one of us that he gives us another chance. We're here today because he loves us. God. We can't take a breath without him, brother. You say it all the time. We can't do nothing without God. But you know what? Through him, all things are possible. Right. If he gave you a, if he woke you up this morning, you should be thankful. Like right. I said, when they were singing the songs, it, it started making me think of what I was going to preach on, and I just, it just reassured me that this is the message I needed to preach today. And I just love the fact that God is good enough to reassure me that yeah. I have something I need to do. I need to witness more. Yeah. Even at work, I can be witnessing yeah. to people. When I'm in the grocery store, I can witness to people. Yeah. And aren't you glad today that if he woke you up another day to live, that you have something to look forward That's to? Awesome. You can get other people. To, you can get other people saved too. All it takes is one word. You plant right. that seed. Some may fall on good ground, some may not fall on good ground. But you know what? That's not our job. Our job is to spread the word. Right. Our job is to just put right. it out there. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone else can do what they want to. Right. But aren't you glad today that God loves us so much? God bless you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> if we got what we deserve today, we'd all be in hell. Yeah. Amen. But God loved us so much that he sent his son to die for us, and now he's off preparing a place for us. So, like I said, not of works, lest any man should boast. God put that in there because a lot of us can get big headed sometimes. Some of us can start going, well, like like you, Brother Ricky, you're a pastor of this church. You can't go up to God on judgment day and say, why pastor does the church or so and so? Because that's not what's going to get you in. It's by the blood of his son. By, for by grace are you saved through faith. It, our faith is what, that's, your faith is what's going to draw, the Holy Spirit's going to draw you. You can't, you can't just come to him on your own. He has to draw you to him. And your faith is what's going to build your foundation to get into God's word because it takes the faith the size of a mustard seed. And then it'll start, it'll start growing and growing and growing. Aren't you glad today, Brother Ricky, that he offered a way yes, for us right. to be saved? That's what I like <coughs> Lord. If, if anybody feels like they need to pray, I mean, even if you're just going through a, a battle right now or a valley, all you got to do is come and pray and God will make a way for you because he hasn't left us today and he won't ever leave us. All you got to do is put forth the effort because he'll always do his part. We just have to do ours. So I'm going to turn it back over to you, Brother Ricky. This is I don't know like I sort of highlight this as going through it. I want to point out three things he preached to you about. The cross, grace, and faith. Amen. But that's three things that it'll take. I thought about I thought about one he's preaching about the grace. I thought about old Noah, but you know what Noah did? Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Amen. I've got good news for you today. You can find grace in the eyes of the Lord. But he also preached about the cross. I'm going to tell you something. If you're going to be a child of God, you're going to have to have a cross. Amen. Amen. You're going to have to have a cross. You you're going to have to bear that cross. Amen. Then talk about faith. Brother, that's something that the Bible says is without faith, it is impossible to please God. Amen. You're going to have to have it. You might be here this morning and say, Well, preacher, I just don't have no faith. I beg your pardon. Yes, you do. According to the scripture, the Bible says this God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. So you got it. You may not be using it, but you got it. I'm going to tell you, it's going to take these three it's going to take grace, it's going to take a cross, and it's going to take faith. God provided every one of them for you. Brother, he died on the cross. 
man. Through his grace. Grace through faith, Brother Josh. Grace through faith. Amen. I'm thankful to God and give us everything we need. So they say what it comes down to is there's not a one of us with, with an excuse. Brother, every one of us, every one of us, the way that God been made. Brother Josh has preached you the gospel. He's preached you the truth. I'm going to tell you what it'll do. You, you'll stand but one day. One day you'll stand. If you're lost, you're undone without God. You'll stand before God one, one day. You might try to put up some kind of excuse. You know what he'll do? He'll bring you back to this day when this man preaches this message. You deny that. I'm going to tell you what I'd do if I see this boy about the law. Maybe you just got cold and indifferent. You're not walking the way you need to walk. I don't know of a better time, better day than right now to get everything all fixed up. If you would stand your feet this morning, yeah, we would ask you at uh, this time this morning, if God has dealt with you, he's broken your heart. Your heart. <coughs> get that that God's got for you. He, he got victory. He got victory in your life. Amen. Hey, you just look at him. What is that? Hey, Ben, when is that?
coming, keep coming, keep coming. Keep seeking, keep seeking, keep seeking. I'm going to tell you, I don't have any time you have to come. If you keep coming, if you keep seeking, you'll get it. You'll get it. I want church to get around this morning. Come on, we're going to pray for it and ask that God to move and die. You know, it, say it can attack me. I think that's fine. But when he goes attacking these like this, that, that gets next to me. I, I don't know what her, what her need is. I don't know. God does. Regardless of what it is, God's every hand. I want all you to believe and all of you to trust in God to get around this morning. We're going we're gonna to pray for God. God will help us. And come, stretch forth your hand.
he is. He's been preaching too long, and he's a very growing. Have you noticed how he's growing? Amen. Man, so just, just stay with God. Stay with that word. I'm going to tell you something. You'll never be popular. As long as you preach that word, you'll never be popular in this world. Huh? I don't worry about my word. Amen. I'll tell you what it do. Things and pay those price. They were just not too bad. Like I said again, we appreciate it. Well, we don't get to do that. I've got those, these two ladies right here. Brother Larry had this. I've got to go with them. Like I've known them all my life. So we appreciate them. I hope you don't make yourself strange, but I hope you don't come back and be with us anytime you can. We love to have you. Not only do we love to have you, we need you. We need you. God needs you. We'd ask you to be good, come back and be with us anytime you can. Anyone else have anything? Brother Larry, you got anything you want to say? Thank like God again for that. They did not need a lie. You know, when they, when they first found out this, it, it sounded awful gloomy to me. I'll be honest with you. I, I tried being positive girl, and though they were heartbroken. <coughs> I, I, I tried to you know, stay up and encourage you. But I thought, you know, that's, that's something. I mean, you got cancer in your liver, in your colon. I thought, man, that's, that's pretty serious.